welcome back to my channel, hi if you're new, and welcome to a vlog where I'm going to take you with me on what I read basically in a week. So it's Saturday morning, it is quarter past six and I'm going out at seven uh, for a day with my mum. So I'm not going to be back till this evening but I'm going to sit down now for half an hour and I'm going to start Loathe to Love You by Ali Hazelwood because I just finished Love Theoretically last night. I loved it, it was another five star, so I'm going to read this collection. It's three different novellas. Um, first one is Under One Roof, where an environmental engineer discovers that scientists should never cohabitate when she finds herself stuck with a roommate from hell, a detestable big oil lawyer who won't leave the thermostat alone. So, I'm going to start this now, read this for about half hour or so before I put Juki in his room and head out and I'll catch up with you later. Hey, it is now 10 past 8 in the evening. I am shattered. I've had a really good day. But despite the fact we were in one room all day, I walked 12 and a half thousand steps. That's 8.5 kilometers. How I don't know, but I have. A lot of moving boxes, moving tables and things. So good day, very tired, but chilling. Little man's on my lap. He's busy washing his paw. And I plan on going to bed in the next hour or two because I'm shattered, but I'm gonna do a little bit of reading. And I'm going to try and read a bit more of the book that wouldn't burn. I am what now? 186 pages in. And I still am not enjoying this in the slightest. But because I got sent this on NetGalley and I'm asked to review it, to me, I feel that I've got to sort of push on and read it. Even though I don't, I can DNF it and just say it wasn't for me and that's fine. But when I decide that I'm going to DNF it, I then just change my mind. I was like, nope, nope, just read another 100 pages, just 50 pages, just another 20 pages. So I'm just going to read it for a little while now because I know I'm not going to have a whole night of reading tonight. Just reading a few chapters of this doesn't seem so daunting. So that's what I'm going to do. It's 10 o'clock, I admit I read only about six or seven pages and I just thought, no, I'm just too tired tonight. I'm not even gonna try it because I'm not taking in anything that I'm reading. So, I've come up to bed. Um, I am currently scheduled to do a medical shift tomorrow. The only issue is it potentially it might get canceled if the weather is bad. It rained all day today. And this is meant to be an outdoor family event tomorrow. So I hope it goes ahead because I had to already cancel this once earlier this year due to the rain and it being on a waterlogged like playing field. So hopefully they are able to run tomorrow and the weather turns nice and it's a great day. But we shall see. But yeah, I'm going to crash. The other half will be home probably in about an hour and a half. Um, I haven't got an hour and a half in me so... Duke's gone to bed, I'm going to bed, and I'll catch up with you soon. It's nine o'clock on Sunday morning, and I've got about an hour before I need to start getting up properly and dressed and ready for work. So I'm on the sofa, I'm chilling, and I'm going to get into this for a while. Hey, so it's now ten to six on Monday, and I'm finally chilling. I have basically been to work today had a normal working day and came home mid-afternoon because I started early had a bit of a migraine so took some painkillers had a dose on the sofa just for half hour and I felt great since so don't know where that came from didn't care for it but I've cooked and had dinner I've done some washing so I'm gonna chill the other half is probably about another 40 minutes or so away from home so I am going to read a bit of Loathe to Love You because I've been trying the book that wouldn't burn to get into that and I'm not in the mood to pick up that this evening. I'm still not enjoying it. I'm about 40% of the way through it. 
and I'm determined to push on with it, but not tonight. It's Monday. It's I've had a really intense working day and I just want to relax and I think this is the perfect way to do so. Slapped her faces. She turned and squinted at me. Are you by any chance going to Rosabalos? Her words were fast and choppy, and she was right. Hello, it is now one o'clock on Tuesday. Completely forgot what day of the week it is then. And I have just finished listening to The Writing Retreat, which is a thriller that came out this year. I listened to the first two, three chapters about a week ago and just thought, I'm going to chuck it on the background today. I haven't got anything too intense to focus on work-wise. Well, I didn't this morning. I do now. Um, yeah, and I just finished it. And yeah, it was all right. Three out of five star. I can't say I loved it, but it did keep my attention through to the end. So I didn't see it going the way that it did, which is always good when that happens. But yeah, all good. So I'm going to do another couple of hours in the office and then this little nugget and I are going to go home. Who's the most handsome boy? Hey, it is now half past six on Tuesday evening. Look, then it's just getting settled. And I've got about an hour until the other half gets in. I've just put his dinner in the oven. And I'm going to start A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. Yes, I have a few books already on the go, I know. But firstly, this is huge. And it's going to take me a while to read it, which is why I've done optimistic tabs. Um, secondly, I just want to read it. Okay, I'm not in the mood to read romance, otherwise I'd be picking up, is it Loath to Love You? Yes. I don't want to pick up a book that wouldn't burn. I'm not in the mood to listen to an audiobook. So, I've wanted to start this for ages and I'm really excited. So this is a prequel to The Priory of the Orange Tree, which I read, was it earlier this year? Uh, and I loved it. Anyway, it was five out of five stars. So I'm really excited to read this. I believe we find out more about the origins of the Priory and I believe there's going to be dragons in it. So do you know what? I'm here for it. I'm excited. I'm going to get into it. Hey, so it is now quarter past three on Wednesday afternoon. I started early, so I finished early work-wise, and I'm going to chill. The other half is working tonight. It is just Duke and I. He has assumed his comfy position for the evening. And so have I. So last night I started A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. I got just about 90 pages into this year. 91 pages I read last night. And I really enjoyed it. I really, really like getting back into this world. I... I really forgot how much I enjoyed Prior of the Orange Tree, to be honest, until picking this up. So, And it's really nice sort of seeing the backstory of certain characters and places and that. So I think I'm going to love this. So I definitely want to return to this tonight. Whether or not I only read this tonight, I don't know yet. Probably not, knowing me. But I would like to make a good dent on this because it is about 800 odd pages. I think it's 880 pages. I'm conscious I've only got this for about another two weeks out of the library, so for me, I need to crack on and get this read. Are you watching doggies? Are you watching doggies? Yeah. Okay, so it's a bit later now. It is half past six and I've got to page 197 of A Day of Fall Night. I am still really, really enjoying this. There's half a dozen stories going on at once. You know they're all going to start interlinking at some point, but I think it's brilliant so far. However, I think I'm going to chill for a little while and then I'll probably pick up something a little bit lighter just to read for a little while before bed. So, it is now 8 o'clock, I have just finished the first novella in Loathe to Love You, which was Under One Roof. 
I really enjoyed it. At this point, Ali Hazelwood could write absolutely anything and I would devour it. Um, I am getting tired, but I'm also half tempted to start the next novella, which is Stuck With You, which says the civil engineer and her nemesis take their rivalry and love to the next level when they get stuck in a New York elevator. I'm just, I'm tempted to start it, but I am tired. Um, but anyway, it's been a very good reading sort of afternoon, evening tonight. Um, I don't know how much reading I'm going to get done over the next couple of days because every time I sort of have a plan of a day, life happens and tomorrow I'm going to be in and out of work because I'm going to go to work in the morning. Then I've got food shop coming between two and three and I'll have a staff meeting tomorrow, which is at half seven, which I will go back out to work for to do in the office because people can turn up to the office for the meeting and do it in person or we're going to do it on Zoom as well. So I'd rather do that in office, the office than my living room, obviously. Um, we've got family birthday on Friday, so I'm in half day Friday. So it might be that I slot in a little bit of reading here and there, or it might be that I don't end up reading now till the weekend. I don't know. But when I read, I shall bring you with me. Hello. It is now half past nine on Friday evening. And I'm home from our family birthday do, um, really good time, um, it was nice hanging out with the fam, but I'm shattered and I will be going to bed within about the next half hour to an hour, but I'm going to do a little bit of reading, hence my checking in with you, and I'm going to go back to those to love you just for a little while before bed. So, I'll catch up with you later. So, I may have read like two chapters and then had a doze on the sofa. So I'm going to go out to bed. Um, I shall catch up with you in the morning. Hi, so it's now Saturday afternoon. I just wanted to pop on, round off the vlog and say thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. If you have, please leave me some emojis that symbolise some part of your day. I hope you have an awesome week and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.